Hello, this is Sarah from smallbusinesssarah.com and I have gotten a request for a video on how to handle PayPal transactions within QuickBooks. I am using QuickBooks Simple Start. You can find QuickBooks Simple Start if you go to www.smallbusinesssarah.com forward slash QuickBooks and you'll find the product there. I also have other resources related to QuickBooks on my website and on this YouTube channel. Now, I can understand why I got a question about this because PayPal can be a little bit strange. So let me show you first how to connect PayPal. We're going to, on the dashboard screen of QuickBooks Simple Start, we're going to go to Connect Accounts, select PayPal, now on this screen, you get two choices, set up sync with PayPal or do bank feeds. And they kind of make it seem like sync with PayPal is such a great idea, but my experience with it is it's not a great idea. So I prefer to do bank feeds with PayPal. It just makes things a bit simpler and easy to understand. It's easier to assign transactions to the correct categories if you do it by bank feeds in my mind. So go ahead and set up bank feeds if you're connecting PayPal for the first time to QuickBooks and follow the instructions for logging into PayPal and then all of your PayPal transactions are going to be fed directly into QuickBooks. So it automates that process which is great. Now I already have my PayPal connected so I don't need to do that. I'm going to go into PayPal and show you what some of the transactions are like. Okay, so I try to come up with a smattering of transactions that you might encounter within PayPal. Uh, the big thing with PayPal is if you don't have a PayPal balance that you're drawing from, for instance, if you only use PayPal to facilitate purchasing an item, you're not using your PayPal balance to purchase that item, that's where you get into a little bit of trickiness because PayPal is still going to show those transactions in this feed here, but you actually paid for those items out of maybe your checking account or your credit card. So let's talk about a few items here and I'm going to give you an example of exactly what I was just talking about. Although because I pay with my PayPal balance, I don't have an exact scenario to show you. So for instance, um, this written word media expense that I paid for, I paid for it out of my PayPal balance. So that's why in the spent column, you only see one line item. That is the correct account I would add it to and then I would click add and I would add it to my QuickBooks simple start in records. It would end up in this tab in QuickBooks, which is what you want to do. However, if I had not used my PayPal balance to pay for this, what I would see on this PayPal feed that were the page we're on right here, we're in the for review under PayPal, I would actually see $25 received and then $25 spent. So it's kind of a clue to you that PayPal didn't actually handle the transaction. Well, they handled it, but the money did not come out of PayPal. If you see the same amount received and spent back to back, that's your clue that although the PayPal feed is showing those amounts, the money actually came out of a different account. So verify that by going to your bank feed or your credit card feed and finding this amount. If you see it come out of your bank account or your credit card, do not just add this expense in PayPal. Instead, what you would want to do is over here, click that and hit exclude. And that's all the transactions. You would do that for the revenue and the expense side because you would see it twice. And then it would end up in the excluded tab because it is not a cash transaction that PayPal needs to report. Sure, PayPal facilitated it, but since the cash didn't come out of PayPal, you've got the revenue and the expense, 
just click both of those and hit exclude. Now, in my case, this was a legitimate expense that PayPal funds paid for. So I had a PayPal balance. It paid for this amount. And I will add that to my QuickBooks records. So the other item I wanted to show you was when you have a revenue amount and then the PayPal fee. Okay, so if you send a PayPal invoice to somebody for a payment, you will get that money when they pay the invoice, but you are charged a transaction fee by PayPal. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and save that revenue because it is in, um, this is hitting the revenue account that I want, an income account. I've created header accounts and sub accounts. So I'm going to hit add. Okay. And then on the expense side, I actually like to put this in under, if I can find it, under expense bank fees. You could label it PayPal fees, uh, whatever you would like. I just put it under bank charges because that is really an expense. So then my records show the full amount of my revenue that I received. And then the expense is that charge, that transaction fee. It's always best when you can to not net transactions together. For instance, I could have posted both to the revenue account, but in accounting, it's best if you can to separate out, to post things gross sales and then net the fees. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you is if you have a transfer. So this was money that I removed from my PayPal account and I transferred it to my checking account. So this, um, so what you wanna do instead of a lot of the time, add is the option that you see uh, shown here. So this is what it probably would have originally looked like. But I know that this isn't an expense to me. I just transferred that money to my bank account. So I do not want to hit an expense account if I just transferred that money. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to actually hit the transfer button. And then it's transferring to the bank account, transfer, and we are done. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful to you. The big thing with PayPal, pick that bank feed option. And then the other, op the other main thing with PayPal is pay attention to those duplicates because that normally means that you actually paid for that item out of a different account and you do not want to double your expenses. Okay, leave a comment in below the video if you have a question. Thank you very much. Have a great day.